Hi everybody. Okay, in this lesson we're going to handle um, branch logic. So branch logic, you've seen this throughout all of these other lessons, really just an if, else if, else statements, and we've been using those all along in simple form, but we've been using them um, with conditions, so you're used to seeing them really. So this is just going to be a little bit of a more full example, so you can see what it looks like uh, in, in a more complete example at how it could be used. But you've already been seeing them uh, as far as the if statements go. And then I'll show a switch statement down below. That's another form of branching. And that one's a little bit more specific. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the if statement. So ba basically the way they work is you've got if and else, which you've seen. So if this, else do that. You could also have uh, other else ifs. So uh, a bunch of ifs working together. And as soon as one of them is satisfied, it stops processing and goes uh, outside of the, the whole block. So let's, uh, let's assume, for example, that someone has a test score of 83, and we want to assign grades to them, like A, B, C, D, E, and F, or not, not E, but F. Um, so we would just do uh, what we've seen before. Uh, here's a condition that you've seen. Uh, sc if score equals 100 and score is greater than or equal to 90, then do this, right? So now there's an else if. So else if the score is less than 90, and the score is greater than or equal to 80, then it's a B. And then we do the same thing for C, the same thing for D, and then else, which you've seen before, you got an F. So that's a, just a more complete example of how the if-else statements um, work. But you've already been seeing them. Um, so that should be kind of like uh, review with just an expanded case. And we can play with that too. Let's go ahead. We'll just copy and paste. And you should type. Uh, but I'll copy paste and we'll just put this in here like this. Okay, so now we've got the score and let's see, 83 is uh, a B, right? So let's go ahead and run this. You got a B. Let's change the score to a 75. You got a C. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and see how th this thing works. So what's happening, let's go ahead and um, debug it and let's see what it's actually doing. All right, so it's stopping here and setting score equal to 75. So then we're gonna step and it's evaluating this one. Didn't hit it. This one didn't hit it. This one, it hit it. So, and then once it goes, it should exit out of here because it already um, processed one. So. It hit the next line just because that's the way the debugger works, but it did not go to the rest of these. Um, and we could test, test that out too. Uh, we'll do something to test that out. All right, let's do this. So it's between, we've got 75. It's between this one, so it's going to hit it. But let's do something to make it so it'll stop before that. So let's put it else here, else if. Let's do score equals 75, which it does. So it should execute this one and not the next one, right? So it should not go in here. And we'll just say, um, we'll just say you got a 75. All right, so now if we run this, it's gonna come in here, it should not execute that one. And so that's how we'll see that th how this works. So we've got our breakpoint and then we go and now here's the case where it's gonna go in. Okay, it's in there, and then it's going to jump to the next, but not go into it. And see, it jumps straight over it. So as soon as it satisfies one, it's finished. And so we just got a 75, not necessarily B. Okay, so that's how that works for the if statements. And so you're kind of used to those, and that's how they work in a complete example, and that's really all there is to it, not much. Most of these things, there's really not much to, to know. It's just, you know, having practice with it. All right, so next up is a switch statement, which is a little bit more specific. So in this case, a switch statement takes a value and then t looks evaluates a case. So these aren't conditions, these are a case. So in the case of a month, uh, which counts zero-based, it's um, 11 is December, zero is January. So we're going to uh, map out the seasons here. Right, so if it's these three, and the case statement uses a break to break out of it. Whereas an if statement, once one's executed, it'll fall out. A case statement will keep executing the ones that match until you break 
to make it come out. Okay, so that's how that works. And let's go ahead and play with this one. Um, like the else if, there's an else uh, equivalent, and this is the default. So if you don't know anything, it's just going to come to the bottom. Default, do this. So break statements, how you get out of things. So let's do this. Let's take this example, and we'll put it in our Hello World program. And we'll save it. And so month is five here. Let's run that. And that had to finish that one off. OK. So it says it's summer, and June is summer. All right, so let's do start with case 11 and see what happens. Let's use our debugger. OK, so we're at 11, and that's December. We're going to step. And we're into winter, and we break. So that's out. Now let's take the break statements away and see what happens. So if we don't break, it should come down to the bottom as unknown. Let's see what it does. So it got winter, it's getting summer, uh, spring, summer, fall, and now unknown. So you see without the break point, or without the break, it will just keep falling through like a rock. So um, to exit out, so it, otherwise you could put in something here, something there, something there, and it'll do all the cases that match. And so that's the difference between an el if else, uh, if, so it's called, they usually call them if then else. But in the case of Java, it looks like if, else if, else, um, which only executes one time, one condition met. And it, it does it by condition, whereas this one is for a specific case. And it can execute many of the cases. So here's how that works. And that's pretty much it for the branch logic. Use them all over the place. If you, as you have seen in these lessons, we use them quite a bit. Uh, we haven't used the switch statement. And I don't use that, use that one as much. The if statement is definitely much more flexible to me. And it can do all the things that the case statement can do with the exception of these multiple um, checks. But you can emulate the same thing with an if statement. You just do if and then do another if, not an else if, just an if, uh, outside, outside, outside. So here, just to show you what I'm talking about, you can emulate something similar here. If you just do an if. Um, and I'll just put the word condition here because we don't have to type it out. OK, if condition, right? And then it'll do this one. And instead of doing else or else if, you just do a different condition. And then it'll check just like it does in a case statement. Check this one, it'll check this one, and it'll execute them all. Um, but you have the flexibility of doing conditions that are much more full. I typically don't use the switch statement. Uh, unless I'm doing something for something a numeric or something that I need multiple cases. Uh, otherwise, it's the if statement. And that's it. Thanks for watching.